together. All these dear brethren who are in bereavement right now, we pray you'll be their consolation. You will stand by them. You'll never leave them. You'll never forsake them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Everybody said amen. Turn your Bibles to Mark chapter 6. The gospel according to St. Mark, the 6th chapter. I want to use Jesus again this week as the focus of my sermon. Last Sunday, my speech was centered on what Jesus said. But today, I am coming to you from the angle of what Jesus did. Long, 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 long before he started his public ministry. And the record of it is in the third verse of Mark chapter 6. It was a question that was posed by some of the people around him. They asked, is not this the carpenter? The son of Mary? The brother of James and Joseph and of Judah and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him. My focus this morning was something they brought up as part of the question in that verse. Is this not the carpenter? Up until Jesus was 30 years old. He was a carpenter. As they rightfully observed in that verse 3. What I want to do this morning is do what we don't usually do behind the pulpit when we preach. I want to take you by the hand into the carpenter's shop. With the inscription, Joseph Carpentry International. And one of the employees we had, believe it or not, was Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. You know, I imagine a lot of things in my life. I just imagine Jesus being a carpenter. Wow. He really condescended for God to be a carpenter. I would like to take you into that workshop this morning. And from inside that shop, I want to show you three things that I think will be really, really beneficial to your life. The first thing I want to do is use my observation to give you a prayer point. Serious prayer point. The second thing I like to do is to use my observation to show you a universal truth that you must embrace for your own good. The last thing I want to do this morning is use my observation to do uh, a be encouraged statement. A prayer point. A great universal truth. And a word of encouragement to you. Is not this the carpenter? Now throughout his many years 
in the carpenter's shop, like all carpenters. The one thing Jesus walked on day after day was wood, as you all know. Because carpentry and wood go hand in hand. When you hear that someone is a carpenter, what first occurs to you is the word wood. There's no carpenter that does not walk on wood and with wood. 